I did want to tell one more story though, not yeah. YouTube related, but do you have anything else or should uh, I go? Well, I have, I have tons of stuff, but you can go. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Before we dive into the disc golf real quick. So on Instagram, the disc golf pro tour channel, they have this little bit where they ask some of the pros, what was your most embarrassing disc golf moment? I, I watched yours and I was going to bring yeah. it up. And then I thought your answer was terrible. So I was not going to bring it up. Okay. Yeah. I agree. My answer was terrible. <laughs> that was one of those situations where if you're not I was embarrassed, like put on the like, spot. You don't have a good answer. Well, I thought of something now. Oh, that oh. kind of <laughs> made me feel very embarrassed. Yuli, did you watch this, so, by the way? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I saw okay, it. Okay. Well, tell people your first answer in case they didn't see the clip. So nothing came to mind. So I just kind of like bl blabbered whatever the first thing came to mind that wasn't really, really embarrassing. So I threw on throw down the mountain at the tournament in competition on hole 18. I drove the green. The final round of like 2019 throw on the mountain. Probably one of the gnarly. greatest tournament gnarly. shots ever. Like probably a top I, 10 tournament shot. I heard that Garrett Gerthy has done it, not in competition, but he has pulled off that shot in like a practice round or casual round, whatever. Um, but I'm, as far as I know, I'm the only one to do it in competition, which it's an, an insane shot if you see that shot. And then I missed like a 20, 25 footer for Eagle. And there was like a big crowd around the basket and I just like melted to the ground. <laughs> Not a great story. That's the only thing that came to mind back then. But now I remembered that I don't remember the year. It must have been 2016 or 17 or something. Maybe 18. Maybe 18. I think it might be 18. I was in Finland. You know, biggest disc golf nation in the world. Um, I was with UC in his hometown. And you know, if you know UC at all, he loves to promote. He loves to hype anything up as much as possible. So I was doing my Finland tour where I was doing clinics and I would do a lot of meet and greets and Finland disc golf is so big in Finland that actual sports stores have disc golf sections. Like every, like compared to Dick's sporting goods, every Dick's sporting goods in Finland has a disc golf section also, but like a legit one because disc golf is such a big deal. So I would do meet and greets in those major sporting goods stores. I think I had like six or seven lined up for my entire tour in different, in different cities in Finland. So we're doing the first one, my first ever meet and greet in an actual store in a mall. And I'm of course a bit nervous. This might be my first meet and greet really I've ever done. Um, we get to the store. There's like a big sign in the front of the store, like Simon Lazard, this time, this date. And we walk in and there's zero people <laughs> there for me. Like not only were there zero people there for me, there were zero people <laughs> in the entire store, <laughs> even shopping for anything. So we walked in, me and Yizzy, I was like looking around and one of the, <laughs> one of the people who worked there just came up to us and we like just looked around and we were just all standing there um like kind of like shrugging our shoulders and being like well and i just felt so bad about myself i was like wow <laughs> oh i thought i'm like kind of like a celebrity in finland like a disc golf celebrity <laughs> And they had or big marketing, signs man. up. And I, marketing. And I walked in that store and just to see it just like completely dead and not, not one person, zero. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that changed. That changed my life kind of. Like <laughs> I haven't enjoyed any meet and greet uh, in my life. Pee Wee, that. one of our tour life crew members, wanted, it, he has posted, did they try and sell you a disc? <laughs> but yeah, Someone they, come over they, and ask you, uh, hey, do you, uh, you looking for a disc over here, Simon? Oh, um, I, hey, I at least just you walked to the disc racks and started going through the discs, <laughs> acting like I was doing something. And I was obviously, I was just, I wanted to dig a hole and just go into the hole. At least that you weren't, uh, at least you didn't go in like guns blazing. There's a, there's a video clip of, I believe his name is Banks and Faze, Faze Banks. That's what it was. I was blanking on what it was. Faze Banks. And they're like a big gaming company where they stream a bunch of video him. games. Okay. 
So there's yeah. a, there's there's a clip of him like with all his butt boys and they're filming it and like he's going into GameStop in a mall and he's assuming everyone's gonna know who he is and freak out and so he goes in there he's like filming himself he's like what's up everyone Banks is in the house and like everyone's just like bro what get get out of here <laughs> and then he's just like. And you see him like walk out. Like at least you didn't do that. That could have been way. You like open the door. What's up, Simon's here? And you're just like, uh... I think I might have saved it. <laughs> I think if I would have like pulled it off like that, it would have been at least funny. Funny, and not yeah. just kind of sad, just standing there <laughs> wanting to die. <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, well... And then I had to do six more meet and greets at those stores, and they all went a bit better. Thank God. That's good. Jeez.